Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today is Thursday and I've just posted my first video of the week. That's because I'm changing up my video schedule and from now onwards you'll see a video from me every Thursday and Saturday. I'm super excited to do this Weewee today. If you are new to my channel then Weewee stands for Will I Wear It and it's a review series that I do on this channel. So today I'm reviewing the pack Baked Highlighters. Pack stands for Professional Artist Cosmetics and they're an Indian company. They have like a store in Mumbai and I believe you can also buy them on Amazon.in. So Pack Cosmetics has some really cool products. I've also reviewed their liquid lipstick in my Liquid Lipstick Battle India Edition. I'll link it right here so that you can just click on it and watch that. They just came out with baked highlighters and they literally look like this. That looks gorgeous but always remember everything that glitters is not gold. So I'm gonna put these through all my different tests that I do on this segment. If you want to see whether I will actually wear this product and all of its pros and cons, let's get started. So this is the new pack baked highlighter. It comes in 11 different shades and it's priced at 850 rupees. So I've divided this entire Weewee into different segments and I'm going to first review the packaging of the product. Now we know that it's a baked highlighter so it is going to be slightly dome shaped. It's not flat because no baked highlighters can be flat but the packaging is like this steel box. So it's not your ordinary plastic packaging, it comes in like a steel box, almost like a Tiffin looking box and it's quite bulky, it's really thick and it's also really sturdy. Now I like the design on it, it's plain, it's simple, it's black, they have their logo that is the three rings which have the P, A and C, they just have the product name on the packaging, they have all the ingredients at the back as well as the shade numbers. This packaging is slightly different and quite unusual from what we see in the general market today. We usually see those more plastic cases that are slightly flatter and slightly thinner and this is like big chunky it's like bulky and it's not even plastic it's like full all up steel so as we know baked products are more delicate and they're more susceptible to damage so this is like a really really good like packaging for a product like this what's the most unique thing about this steel box is once you open it the steel itself is the mirror this mirror is huge, it like goes from surface to surface. Also the baked highlighter doesn't come with any applicator. I would have preferred for it to be more sleek and more thin and less like in your face but since it does protect the product really well, I'm okay with it. Now the next thing I want to review about this highlighter is its texture and pigment. Obviously the name says it all, it's a baked highlighter, it's not our usual highlighters. You can see that it's dome shaped and it is baked. The texture is really nice, it's super smooth, they have very tiny finely milled glitter particles inside and it is really shimmery. Now, even though it is really shimmery and it gives off that really really intense glow, it is not chunky whatsoever so you will not see chunky glitter particles in it. This is so pigmented you literally have to try it to believe it. It does not go on uneven or patchy whatsoever. It is super 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 simple to use but public service announcement this is literally like disco ball vibes. It is not the glow from within and all of that that we speak of. Please do not buy it if you like the whole oh I'm glowing from within. No. If you want to look like you're glowing for the gods then this is your product. So because this is a highlighter, it's going to show your pores. It's not going to show things that are not there. So if you have pores, obviously it's going to really emphasize it, but not too drastically. Now the other thing about the texture is because it's so pigmented, it does have a lot of fallout. So if you're not going to use the right brush, you're going to experience a little bit more fallout. Next, I'm just going to go into the color of this product. I have shade number seven and it's a more golden champagne -y kind of color. It's a very, very, very good dupe for Soft and Gentle by MAC. What I love about this shade is that it will work with so many different Indian skin tones. These kind of golden champagne shades work really well with neutral as well as warm undertone girls, especially with those having medium to darker skin. Staying power of this product is really, really good. I've worn quite a few other highlighters, but nothing compares to this because this actually stays on me for about six and a half hours and it started fading post the five hour mark. The best way to apply this product for me personally is with a flatter and a denser brush. This is a Morphe brush that I'm using. The one thing that I really like about that Morphe brush is it really concentrates the product in the places that you want to apply it and it doesn't scatter it everywhere, making it look like there are chunks of glitter all over your face. Because I mentioned earlier, that this product has a lot of fallout if you go in and keep swirling your brush because it's more pigmented and it is a baked product. The problem is that I cannot use a fan brush that well because if I pick it up with fan brush, it's everywhere. And even when I try to deposit the product on my face, I will see like parts of the glitter 
just like falling down and trickling down my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this highlighter and you can see how I do it. How I like to apply highlighter is if I have a light in front of me, like right now I have a light here, I just try to push my face towards the light, bend my face slightly, see where the light hits my face. So I can see that the light hits my face right here really well as well as right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the product right there. So it looks in reality just how it looks on camera and it's super pigmented. So when I move my face, you can see that it catches the light really well. I'm also going to apply that right on top of my brow bone and right underneath. So if you're extra like me, you can go down the bridge of your nose and all of that jazz. But I only bring it down halfway, so I just go down halfway the bridge of my nose. I don't like to bring it down all the way because I have a slightly wider nose. And then I go right on the tip. Since I have a very prominent Cupid's bow today because of my liquid lipstick, I'm just going to apply that right there. And now for the crucial question that has been answered literally throughout the whole video is will I wear it? The answer is obviously yes, I'm in love with this product. I literally want to go out and buy like 5 different more shades and I know they all won't suit me but I still want them. This gives me that glow for the gods look which I absolutely love and adore especially on a night out. It was absolutely not a disappointment and it lived up to everything it said it would do. It's super smooth, super intense, it's really different and the color suits me really well. So for me, this is an ace product. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there. I know this might be a huge claim, but this is the best highlighter in the Indian market right now. I know I said it earlier in the video, if you like the whole glow from within, then don't buy this, but no. Even if you like that glow, if you like any kind of glow, just buy this. This is literally just going to elevate your makeup look from like 0 to 100 in 2 seconds. So if I had to rate this product out of 5, I'd literally rate it 4.8 and take away that 0.21 because I don't like this like super thick and heavy packaging because I want to take this with me everywhere. And the second is because there is a little bit of fallout. I'm issuing an apology in advance because this highlighter is going to be in literally every single makeup tutorial from now on. So that's it for today's VV guys. I love this product so much and I'm so excited to do this series on my channel. If you guys want to see more new products that have just come out in the market or even things that have been there for a while but you can't find too many reviews on it, then don't forget to tell me down in the comments section or my social medias and I'll make sure I do a wee wee for you guys on that. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at we Make Up Life and Snapchat at the rate Tina Tengra. I post a lot of pictures on my Snapchat about like things that I do every day and also a lot of these makeup things just like sneak into there earlier than the YouTube videos. If you guys like such videos then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. Turn on the post notifications bell, I've said it a million times. You can turn that on then you get notifications whenever I post, you'll never miss an update. Da -da 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 See you next time. Bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom, you are allowed. Can you please get done yeah. right now? This is. Oh!